really important argument to engage because we are not disagreeing that sanctions may play some role in North Korea coming to the negotiating table. We are simply arguing that on the basis of this economic incentive, they are not prepared to fully disarm. Suzanne, in her opening statement, in fact, made the essential point that Kim Jong-un has claimed victory already with his nuclear arsenal. In his statements in the last several months, he has pointed to the fact that it now has the nuclear deterrent it needs to ensure its own survival and can pursue other goals as a result. The economic health and stability of the regime is surely one of those secondary goals that Kim Jong-un would like to pursue over and above his survival, which he is now guaranteed. So I don't think it should surprise us that he feels he can now come to the negotiating table from a position of strength with the regime's security guaranteed, hoping to make it stronger still by improving North Korea's economic situation. And my partner, Sue, pointed to several statements to that effect in her opening statement this evening. But a nuclear weapons program will not feed the Korean people. It will not keep the uh, economy up and running. These are things that he has to think about. So I think it makes total sense now that he has this ultimate bargaining chip. He has this strong, I mean, his negotiating peak, uh, position is peak right now. He can come to the table with confidence. And for the North Koreans, one of the most important things for them is to be able to come to the table and say, we are coming here as an equal. We are coming here on equal footing. Uh, that's very important to their psychology. Let me